6 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines The Prime Minister says the development Pakistan has made during five years tenure of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz government is unprecedented in the 70 years history of the country. In the Indian held Kashmir, thousands of people today participated in the funeral prayers of three youths martyred by the Indian forces in Pulwama. An American organization says desertions and high casualty rate have sharply decreased the strength of Afghan security forces. China has expressed the desire to boost strategic partnership with the United Arab Emirates. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahid Khan Abbasi says the development Pakistan has made during the five-year tenure of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz government is unprecedented in 70 years history of the country. He said this while inaugurating multi-billion rupee new Islamabad International Airport near the federal capital today. The Prime Minister attributed the success of the project to the determination of PMLN government to serve the masses. He said 6% growth and other positive economic indicators speak of the success of the policies of the PMLN Qaeda, Mohammed Nawaz Sharif. The Prime Minister said the new airport in the context of China-Pakistan economic corridor will help the country become a new hub of interconnectivity. The new airport will also act as a gateway to economic development by employing people and spurring business activity. Labor Day was observed across the country today with the renewed pledge to acknowledge and promote the dignity of laborers. Labor and traders organizations have chalked out special programs to highlight the significance of the day. Seminars were held in different cities to pay tributes to those who laid down their lives in Chicago in 1886 for the rights of the laborers. Radio Pakistan is broadcasting special programs to create awareness amongst the masses about the rights of the laborers. The News and Current Affairs channel of Radio Pakistan is, spare, is airing a special marathon transmission to mark the day. The Chairman Senate Mohammad Sadiq Sanjirani has said the dream of attaining national progress cannot be materialized without ensuring prosperity of the workforce. In a statement on the occasion of the Labor Day in Islamabad today, he said all the institutions, including the Parliament, will not only have to ensure implementation on labor laws to protect their rights, but also accelerate concerted efforts for social and economic uplift of the workers. The Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Mariam Aurangzeb, has said laborers have played a pivotal role in the overall development of the country. In a statement on the occasion of the Labor Day, she said targets of growth and development can be achieved on fast-track basis by empowering the workers. She highlighted the significance of imparting training to the laborers and providing them better health facilities to achieve sustainable development. The information minister said the present government is taking steps to provide better job opportunities and working environment to the workers. In occupied Kashmir, thousands of people today participated in the funeral prayers of a teenage cricket star, Shahid Ashtavdar, and two other youths martyred by the Indian troops during a cordon and surge operation in firing on protesters in Pulwama district. According to Kashmir Media Service, thousands of participants in the funeral processions chanted pro-freedom, pro-Pakistan, and anti-India slogans. Eyewitnesses said some Mujahideen appeared at the funeral of one of the martyrs, Samir, and offered him a gun salute. Meanwhile, a complete shutdown was observed across the Kashmir Valley against the killings today. An American government organization has said strength of the Afghan security forces has declined sharply over the past 12 months due to desertions and high casualty rates. According to a new report released by a group known as Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, the number of security forces personnel has fallen by about 10%. China wants to boost strategic partnership with the United Arab Emirates. This was stated by the Chinese President Xi Jinping's special representative during a meeting with the Crown Prince of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in Abu Dhabi. 
the envoy said China is also willing to integrate the Belt and Road Initiative with the development strategy of the United Arab Emirates. And finally, the weather, rain, thunderstorm with gusty winds is expected at isolated places in Istanbul, Daulpindi, Gujamala, Lahore, Sargoda, Festabad, Malakand, Hazara, Peshawar, Mardan, Kohar divisions during the next 12 hours, also including Fata, Gilgit, Baltistan and Kashmir. The storm is also expected in Multan and Dera Ghazi Khan divisions during afternoon and evening. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official. Mm -hmm.